What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Berserk, 250-251. Um, we had the whole Sonya show up, persuade us to come with her. I'm very, I'm proud of Shirka kind of like declining and accepting that she kind of has a place to be. She already has people. Um, Shirka's going through the typical kind of like, what's so great about humanity when they're so shitty? But then she sees... um. A little bit of good in them as well so it kind of keeps her faith with it um so we'll see what ends up happening with that it looks like we're catching back up here with charlotte and anna on screen so i'm sure we'll probably be running into griffith perhaps and i'm sure sonya's going to show back up and like is she to report to him was she specifically looking for something for him or was she truly just like interested in in different people as she says, um, I have no idea. Let's see. Let's press play on this. Get that going. Make sure it's good to go. Uh-huh. Mic is going. We are recording. Let's do it. Chapter 250. It baked well this time. I'm sure even Lord Griffith would like some of this. Good effort, Your Highness. Well, I suppose confections can rarely be eaten on a battlefield. Thanks, you helped so much, Anna. The country cooking of my mother's family was never all that much to speak of. But you needn't go out of your way to bake up such a pretext. Just walk over and see him. Are they... Like, to be wed? Has... Like, what's... I'm, I mean, I'm sure we'll find out here. No, Lord Griffith seems to be so busy, I can never go and bother him. Girl, you've been dreaming about this. You might as well. You're committed. She doesn't even know she's on the wrong side, but she's committed, so... Go for it. True, he certainly has to work hard in order to reclaim Midland. So please, go give him the fresh-baked goods as a reward for his efforts. Thank goodness... Really, that the princess is cheerful again. Yeah, she's probably... She hasn't really too good male influences in her life. Um, and I'm sure the years of what happened with her father and then Griffith kind of just disappearing really took a toll on that mental. In fact, I'd never seen her this cheerful even before Windham fell to the Kashan. Even though this actually is a battlefield. Oh, man. I feel so bad for her. Of course this motherfucker is like not in a tent or like consulting with other people. He's just looking off on top of a hill. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, let's hear it. Almost like a painting, one cut from eternity. It feels like I mustn't touch him. Ah. Aha. Aha. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Lord Griffith. Hey, hold on. I'm sure that'll look great. I'm sure. I'm sure Charlotte will love that. I almost feel like I don't know if this is the way she always greets him, but I feel like Sonia sensed that Charlotte was like in the vicinity and did that shit on purpose. That's just me. Here I am. Welcome back, Sonia. How was the sea? It was loads of fun. I even made a neat friend, and we had a little adventure, thanks to which I'm exhausted. Good work, Mule. I'd like to hear about the city once you've caught your breath. And about your face. In that case, I could... Get up there, girl. Uh, excuse me. Ah, Princess Charlotte. But... Charlotte's a grown... I mean, she's not grown, but she's like... What, I, I had clarification. Somebody gave me her age. Or the age range. What is she, like 16 to 20 right now? Somewhere in there. Sonya, personality-wise, and look what... Is she even 12? Like 13? I don't know. They're young. Lord Griffith here. I bake some sweets if you... If you wish. Everyone could. 
Yo, stop looking at me like that. Whoa, sweets. Let's have a look-see. Mmm, good. A marvelous taste and fluffy. Here, Lord Griffith, it's sweet and delicious. You have some tool. You have some too, mule. It smells nice, sweet. Somehow it sets the mouth at ease. <clears throat> I never dreamed I would encounter such a gentle taste on the battlefield. Thank you, Princess Charlotte. Oh, not at all. I am happy, though, if it pleases you. Sonia, stop looking at me like that. Damn it. Yeah, g get her ass out of there. Come here a minute. What's your issue? You are. Have a little consideration. Lord Griffith is busy, and they hardly have any time to be alone together. If you're a woman, not to mention a medium who can sense people's thoughts, then empathize. Someone's spitting some knowledge. How tormented must she have been? By loneliness and anxiety alone for years amongst the enemy. Now she finally gets her wish to be united with her lover. You can have that. Bye. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know about her. Ah oh, shit. Isn't that Legolas? Yeah, the one with the all the all seeing bow. Hmm. Hmm. Good evening. Mind if I warm myself? As you wish. Nice song. A little lonely, though. You're always by yourself. Aren't you lonely? I'm a hunter. I feel calmer alone. Are hunters always alone? Do they walk alone in mountains and forest? There are those who are... Otherwise, but not me, I hunt alone. For days I run through mountains and rivers chasing my prey, I lurk alone deep in the forest. Though so many nights I lose track of time, and then... And then, before I know it, I too have become a beast. What, he want to become an apostle so he could be the ultimate hunter? Never tire, always catch his prey type shit? You know, I, I was alone too. I could see things other people couldn't, hear voices they couldn't. My world alone was different from theirs. I see. She wasn't the only one who was lonely and anxious. Talking about Charlotte. About her being lonely and anxious and around the enemy. So is she jealous of her or what? Mm -hmm. And I'm out. That night I had a dream, a dream of a kite and an owl playing in a moonlit forest. I just hate how like, he's just hanging out, socializing, eating desserts. And we're, uh, we're just struggling. Alright, let's see what we got. 251. Alright, we're caught back up with us. Did we, are we never gonna see? What? How that fight ended? The old demon king that had like an ethereal presence that he was like as big as mountains? And we're not just gonna like catch up with that or what? Where he just, or were they not? Because he was, he was fighting multiple apostles right there, and Griffith was in the area. Did Griffith just grab Charlotte and leave, and they're going to reassess and go back, or like, what's up with that? Hmm. Look closely, please. Concentrate, so as to burn the image in your mind. Slowly, close your eyes. Now imagine it, the image of the apple you just saw. Okay. Shape, color, as much detail as you can. Mm hmm. Not rushed, but slowly. It is no use. The image is blurred and will not take firm shape. That is how it is at first. This is the first step toward becoming a magic user. It is basic practice for tangibility, tangibly imagining a phenomenon within your mind. 
is it true that, and I don't know if this is true, there might be some of you that are like in school for these things or have a little bit more knowledge and things like that. <clears throat> when you dream, and people, you know how you're like, you're like, you can have dreams about people you know in your life, famous people, whatever, etc. But then there's there's background people or people that you might interact with or whatever. They say that, they say, I don't know who they is, but the faces of the, the people that you conjure in your dreams are people that you've seen in real life. Like you can't conjure people you've never seen. That's what they say. Don't ask me. Tangibly imagining. Magic is not accomplished merely by reciting a spell and drawing symbols. It is the changing of images in conjunction with those things that first yields efficacy. The essence of magic is the world of thought. It is practiced in the astral world. You have already felt a portion of that, Farnese. The trolls and the ogre. And that light, yes. I'm a portion, yeah, you are. That four-hued light is the manifestation of power. For me, personally, proceeding into the astral world, offering supplication and receiving assistance from the beings, known as the four cardinal kings. The astral world is comprised of wills and powers, memories and portents in various domains. To accomplish things in the midst of that, more than anything, it is necessary to make your mind, your ethereal body, adhere firmly as a projection of your physical body so as not to lose yourself. We magic users call that unwavering, stable projection, a body of light, a luminous body. That apple is your first step to obtaining your luminous body, Farnese. Persistence practice, persistent practice is sure to bear fruit. Please do your best. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now that I'm, now that I'm kind of like going through it, I'm just gonna go back to practicing with guts. <laughs> You guys can keep the magic thing. I'll just go back to what I might be able to do. But right now, I'm... Eh. Appreciate it, Casca. Thanks. Oh, man. Forget it. Not a single bite. What are they, fishing? That was sure a vain effort. Welcome back. How did things go? They went nowhere. Can she not, like go out by the water and do some magic shit pull out some fish or anything we tried every marine time trading firm and even a private ship captain in the city but every ship has been commandeered as a warship or has accepted military related commissions they curtly well all of them turned us away Oh, they're out here looking for passage. Oh, because they got to get to the... Because that's what I was saying. This isn't our last destination, so how do we get there? They've got to travel by water? We walked our legs off all day in that crowd. We overestimated our prospects. Going on with homeboy in bed. I assumed something would work out so long as we reached a port. But it looks like this is different from how our journey's been left to chance so far. Guess now we'll have to, to plunder some ship. Again, such nastiness. Well, and look how they got Puck animated. Yo, keep an eye on her. Don't let her just run out the room. Would you mind leaving this to me? Yeah, go out there and do your holy see. Go drop your family's last name, royal crest type shit. I bet you she'll come out there with a full-size yacht in a minute. What, Farney? You got some idea? Lady Farney, she cannot mean... I will be gone for a bit, Sir Pico. She's gonna go solo? Okay. Alright. Yeah, just go flash that crest. I'm sure that'll... We might be able to get a whole crew, honestly. Who knows? Do what you gotta do. Do what you must. I've tried to do as I was told. I've stabilized the banking operations of the Braj branch. These three years, my branch also single-handedly manages the buying of pelts, linen, tin, and lead for the entire northern region. Oh, whoops. I missed this one down here. It should be about time for you to recognize my ability. Please let me into the inner ability. 
You've done nothing more than walk upon the road I've paved? So what do you want him to do? Not do? <laughs> Why is it to my brother Giorgio? You gave the positions of general financial manager of the Holy See's account office and joint manager of the Vandominium Bank? And to my brother Polizanio? You gave the Grand Governor Generalship of the Realm of the Holy See, so why should I not? You need but hold your tongue and follow my instructions. That was after careful consideration of their respective talents. Enough, believe me. You have a guest, Master. I recall n no afternoon appointments today. It appears to be a lady dressed in a male garb and her attendant. She entrusted this to me. This is, the lady gives her name as, Far yeah, she's dropping. <clears throat> she's going to go use that last name to hopefully um get us something of use. And here we are. Hello? That's our father. I know we've seen him before, but I don't remember the... I guess that is. Is this where he holds up? She was about to say father. Good God. Why have you come here? Somebody speak. Come on, girl, shake it off. Don't be so nervous. You said this was something you wanted to handle, so handle it. I heard about the Holy Iron Chain Knights. That they were destroyed by a Kashan invasion while guarding Abalon. I'll be on. I won't say that was your indiscretion, but figurehead or not, you were in charge of a band of knights. For you alone to survive shamelessly and further go into hiding... You will, of course, appear before the Holy Sitter City Supreme Court to receive judgment. Yeah, I'm not. It would seem that no matter where you go, the star under which you were born will see to it that you sully the honor uh, okay, of the Vandominium name. So this is not going smooth. <laughs> I did not know we were walking up on her father. I thought... This guy would be familiar with her family crest and the name and yada yada and give us something and we just keep it going. I did not. And now she's going to be too shook to actually ask for what she came for. Until I say otherwise, you're to abide quietly in this mansion. Bruh. What are we doing? We just fold. Not only do we fold, but now they're not even going to know what happened to us. I was about to say, you came here for a purpose, no? You said you handle it. Father, I, uh, friends, a ship. Wait, get your brother. Th this is her brother then, correct? Alright, let's do one more chapter. That was actually pretty quick. We're not even at 20 minutes. We'll do one more. <clears throat> I did not know this was the location of where her father's at. Casca, stop that. Settle down. This is what I'm saying. Can you not, like, put her mind at ease while you, like, I don't know. I don't know what her witch capabilities are, to be honest. I feel like, I feel like it's underutilized in the day-to-day -day life. Come on, I said I'd help you. <laughs> Doing something you're not used to alone is tough, and I'm only saying it because I'm being nice. <laughs> Why do they got his ass restrained? So, so what's up with this crap? You've got a, you've got a previous offense. Please don't pull on that. Okay, well this is going great. This is how you appreciate a companion who's who's come through so many battles with you. Really, it's so sad. I can't even get pissed about it. I'll show you the power of sadness of someone who couldn't be trusted. Your nasty nature turned me into a raven, a raven beast. Jesus. What I just feel? <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Come on, I told you to stop. Aren't you listening to a word I say? Just use a spell to... That's what I'm saying! Just, like, z zap her ass one time. Even I can handle this much without using magic. Can you, though? Enough already, Cask. Is this allowed? You better do something before he opens his eyes, and this is just, just all awkward. <laughs> yeah, get that wand out and handle shit. This is real weird. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, please don't remember this. They're taking so long. That was just so unnecessary. <sighs> it's been a long time since I took a bath by myself. Yeah, it's just been her and Casca. Casca, I wonder if her hair is being washed properly. Lady, your change of clothes is prepared. And now we're back to this. They can do without me at least. Where are my dagger and shirt? They were damaged, so we thought we would dispose of them. Should you require, we will prepare new ones. Lady, please wait. Please, your clothes. Lady Farnese? You right there. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that shit. Your behavior is as unpre unprecedented as ever, little sister. No wonder father's amazed. Yeah, can you help us with what we need so we can get the fuck up out of here? How long it's been? We're not... We've not seen each other in years since before you were sent to the convent. Have you met with our older brothers? No. Naturally, the Vindominians aren't very tightly knit. But much regarding you has reached my ears. You work with the Holy Iron Chain Knights and the unfortunate troubles that followed. I pity that, but... Lift up your eyes. There's no need to worry. I don't like her dressed up in this shit. I prefer the way she looked before. No fault lies with you. Instead, Father deserves the blame. He gave his tacit consent when the Holy See's priest made you their leader of the Holy Iron Chain Knights, though you know nothing, and now see how he speaks to you? Well, yeah, you've got a gr he's got a grudge, so don't like put that on us and try to like get us in trouble. This isn't all. I remember when I'd visit the mansion in the Holy City, I'd see her. This girl wandering the huge garden all alone like some kind of ghost. Was he raising a pure flower in the greenhouse to protect it from the uncleanliness of the outside world? That's hardly what that was. He just aimlessly left you to yourself. He did nothing short of abandoning his responsibilities as a parent. Even when you set fire to the mansion, father was the one... To blame for goading his only daughter that far? Even if the words Vendominion Vendominion No, I'm adding a like, syllable to that. Devil child passed people's lips. That is not your own indiscretion. It's not that I don't understand how you feel. That bastard thinks of his family as nothing more than cogs in the giant machine. Inferior products that don't meet his approval are cast off without hesitation or any show of concern. Just as if they were stones by the wayside. I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he's got a grudge. So what brings you here? Actually, a journey to the west by ship with companions? For you, a woman? No. Rather, I guess this is like you. We talked with traders throughout Britannus, but every ship was engaged with the war effort. So I thought to see a father would use his influence. Britannians is now <clears throat> literally overflowing with anchored ships, but it's no exaggeration to say nearly all of them are involved with the war. The idea of finding a ship to carry personnel, personal travelers at a time like this, even if you did ask father. Okay, so what's in it for me? Tell me what you want, ma'am. What do you want what I need to do? Help me help you. A single ship that would not be beyond my power. But in return, I have to request to make my sister. I too have a request to make my sister. What do you want? <sighs> what can I help you with there, bucko? You want me to kill father in the middle of the night or something or what? What, what can I help you with here, buddy? Hmm? 
Oh, of course we cut. What are they having crab fights? For goodness sake, all of you, would you stop playing around? Help out a little? Good for nothings. Please see the cask as meal. Uh, me? Leave it to me, I got experience. Oh no, you mustn't get up, get up guts. I'm alright, I just have a slight fever. No, it is because your mind has been remiss since coming here. The fatigue from your previous battles has come out all at once. You must rest a little and recover from your wounds. I use the kitchen to make this medic this medicinal soup. It might be a little bitter though. I'll feed myself. No, you will not say it. <laughs> oh man. You know what I do f I am worried for? <laughs> I could see Shirka dying, man. I really could. And what that would do to Guts would probably be as bad as if Casca died. You're damn near pretty close. Oh, they're back. They're back, they're back, they're back. He's got new drip. Damn, took long enough. Where'd you wander off to all night? She wants to feed him so bad. What you doing all dressed up? Well, what about the ship? Where's Farney? A ship? Has been arranged. Lady Farnese, don't tell me we like exchanged us for a ship. No, because she. <sighs> Lady Farnese will not be rejoining you. I'm going to hope that that's. Clip. Let's be real here. Like all storytelling. That's not true. She's going to rejoin us. Who, what, when, where, how she does, and what we have to do to make that happen, that's a whole other story. Um, so we'll really have to wait to see how that plays out. I don't know what her brother would have asked for. Like, what, are you trying to marry your own sister or something? Or you want her to, like, I, I don't know what the goal is. Because her, her story is far from finished. Whether it's her actually becoming a decent witch... Or finally being okay with herself mentally to, like, get through the darkness. Like, there's a lot to her story. And she's not going to be able to do anything with that story if she's not with the group. So, I'm not going to panic about that. Um, we'll get the ship. She'll be with us. And we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, pay, subscribe, as always.